<laughs> Our next grocer is Eric Linder. Eric is a leader in Toastmasters. And by leader, he, I, uh, I mean he likes to push men and, or women and children out of his way. <laughs> anyway, for Halloween, oh. <laughs> Eric likes to put a dildo in his pants. Goes a porn star. Uh, he calls it his pointer. Under that is what he calls his disappointer. <laughs> Please help me welcome Eric Linder. This damn thing better be working. <laughs> All right, it's great to be here at Improv Toastmasters, also known as those planes are fucking up my speech Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> this group of roasters. You guys look like the lobby at King Stallman's after a party at Bob's house. Okay, <laughs> 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 see, uh, our pastor's got an air conditioner. Good for you. Maybe you guys can change your club name to Those Planes Are Still Fucking Up My Speech, but it's not as hot as it used to be in your club. <laughs> Before we get to Tony Rico, whose name is that of an Italian sex trafficker, <laughs> let's start with our roast master, Bob Dietrich. Bob, you are the Titanic of comedy. You weigh too much, all your jokes tank, and Kate Winslet can't wait to jump off of you. <laughs> Bob has a weakness for Mexican food, as you can see. Bob's having a bad day when the girl at Taco Bell tells him he can't have a chalupa. <laughs> Bob's a busy guy. When he's leading a meeting, he's a toastmaster. When he's running a roast, he's a really good roast master. And when he's tending to his chicken flock, he's well, you figured out. <laughs> Bob's also a big fan of going to rock concerts. <laughs> and somehow he always manages to get backstage. <laughs> Bob's given more head to lead singers at concerts <laughs> than Melanie Klinghoffer has to keynote speakers at Tony Robbins seminars. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, you are, are a musician, but not a very original one. Hey, Glenn, Josh Groban called. He wants his everything back. <laughs> Gre Glenn, you're incredibly good looking and very promiscuous as well, I learned. On a related note, congratulations for being the poster child for chlamydia sufferers. <laughs> Glenn goes through more antibiotics for STDs in a month than Ariana Grande did the night of her quinceanera. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of hating on Hispanic heritage. <laughs> Damar Siley Seya made it out of jail to be here today. <laughs> Damaris is from an island near Puerto Rico that used to be used by the US Navy as a bombing range. <laughs> Since Damaris left that island, now all the bombing is happening when Damaris takes the sea. <laughs> Tamaris oh recently learned, earned her Distinguished Toastmaster Award, and since then, offers have been flooding in for her to leave the country. <laughs> Listening to a speech by Damaris is like watching a tightrope back. The clothes are too tight, it's scary to look at, and there's an even chance the whole thing will fall flat. <laughs> so, I know he's not here, but what can you say about Thomas Holliday? Erica Galco, <laughs> a workaholic on Red Bull and Ribbon. You look like a cross between Ryan Gosling and Gary Busey riding double on a tricycle. <laughs> oh, and if you're ever in the American South, drop by Eric's mom's house in Jackson, Mississippi for a delicious bowl of her black eyed pea soup. I don't know, I just like that. <laughs> Eric is so white. Eric's family photos look like a group of mental patients in straight jackets handing off business cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and since, oh, is Julie here tonight? Yeah. Julie, where's Julie? <laughs> Julie there you go, Julie. Since Richard Dial is not here, I'm going to go ahead and roast Julie with the material I wrote for Richard Dial, okay? So <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Julie, you're one of the nicest women I've ever met, even though we haven't met yet. It's not too often you run into someone whose last name is also a soap. <laughs> Julie, would, Julie, you have a great smile. I'd smile too if I was an escaping from a mental institution. Oh. 
Julie's mental health record is almost as long as Erica Gelko's cock. I just now overheard just now overheard Anya ask Bob, how long is Erica Gelko? And Bob said, hey, what's about this long? <laughs> Chris's life expectancy or the remainder of Christoph's marriage. Chris <laughs> 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 lives in an apartment right upstairs from an In-N-Out burger, right? He's the first In-N-Out customer to qualify for a volume discount. <laughs> Chris thinks mayonnaise is French cuisine. Chris's dream day would be sharing a chocolate shake with Kristen Ritter on a whale watching excursion. Sounds kind of good, right Chris? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Chris is super nice, and he even works to protect animals in the ocean. He took it a little too far yesterday when he, arrest, he was arrested for protesting in front of, a, front of a Domino's pizza because of the anchovies. Someone, someone please tell Chris that an anchovy is not a mammal, it's a fish. Remember, not all jokes have to be funny. <laughs> Speaking of wanting to throw something into the Medi Mediterranean Sea, Christoph Kavitsa could not be here tonight. If you need, ever need to book a room for a meeting, Christoph will clear that room for you in two minutes into his speech. <laughs> but you gotta take it easy on Christoph though, because Christoph had a pretty rough childhood. When he was 10, Christoph lost most of his eyelashes in a bizarre fart lighting accident. <laughs> it wasn't even his fart. <laughs> Christoph has bounced from country to country all his life for violating the Geneva Convention rules on public speaking. <laughs> Who knew that delivering consistently confusing speeches could be labeled a war crime? <laughs> Speaking of people who got kicked out of their own countries, Anya Simpleton's here. <laughs> Anya, you're a drinking machine in a size zero dress. <laughs> now, allegedly, Anya's married. Yeah, right. Has everybody here, anybody ever seen this guy? I bet Anya says she's married to keep guys from hitting on her. Anya is married like Chris Hamill is on a strict diet. <laughs> Another exile from his own country is Nick Katowski. Nick's from Manchester or Bristol, depending on what day of the week it is. Right? England's a country whose chief exports are football hooligans and people who don't talk loudly enough. <laughs> like most people from England, Nick is not too smart when it comes to sex. The woman always has to tell Nick what to do. <laughs> she says, put it in, now pull it out. Now put it back in, now pull it out. And then Nick says, God damn it, make up your mind. <laughs> That's been my favorite joke since my mom told me that when I was four. Oh, God. <laughs> There's no bigger international embarrassment than the man of the hour, Tony Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you, this joke was done by four people already. Tony, Tony has the best English accent of anyone I've ever met next to Nick Katowski. <laughs> Tony, you're flying back and forth between the continents like an Air Egypt flight without a compass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with frequent flyer miles and an allocated operative with frequent flyer miles. That's your favorite joke, isn't it? Right there. That's good. Tony's on some weird diet that made him lose a bunch of weight. Now Tony's got a thigh gap. He's the envy of low self-image women everywhere. <laughs> but you know, Tony's a very generous person. As long as that generosity can be measured in Slater's 50-50 gift certificate. <laughs> Last year, he's handing out those things like he's dealing cards from a deck. The San Diego Police Department calls those the best-looking fake gift certificates we've ever seen. <laughs> I don't blame you for leaving the country, Tony. I don't know anyone who wants to go to an ass-pounding prison for print, printing fake gift certificates to hamburger joints. <laughs> now, Tony, listen, I know you're going to be leaving the country soon. I have no idea where you're going, but wherever you're going, they're going to be really blessed to have you, and I'm going to miss you, Tony. Yeah.